divisional round action about to take place here tonight. Welcome, everybody, to Snipes TV Gaming. I am your boy, Snipes. We got DJS. We got D-Nice. We got the Bucks and the Vikings about to get this thing kicked off. Big shout out to everybody here in the chat. Appreciate y'all tuning in as we get ready to get this thing locked, loaded, and ready to go for this ball game. And it should be a lot of fun, everybody, as we get ready to hit the stage as we are trying to crown a champion for the first time here for Madden 25. As kickoff is underway, here we go, folks. So the Bucks will start off with the football. Again, this is a divisional game. The NFC divisional winner will move on to the NFC championship game and will take on either the Giants or the Cardinals. That game will take place tomorrow night right here on Snipes TV Gaming. Tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. That game was supposed to be played earlier, but unfortunate life situations happen for people and we couldn't get it done here today. But the good reverse here to Godwin and a good start here for the Bucks as they'll get the first down. So a first and 10 coming up. As the Bucks. Gets things going here on the first play of the game to Chris Godwin. And this time he'll hand it off here to White, and White only will get a yard on the play that'll bring it out to a second down. But Baker Mayfield, 4,035 yards, 30 touchdowns, only three picks in the regular season. Excellent regular season for Baker Mayfield. Let's see what he does here on second down. As he's back for the pass, he makes a lot of good decisions. And this is a good decision as well, too, as nobody was open whatsoever. That's going to bring it down to a third down and nine. So third and nine coming up. Big shout out dissolving in the building. Good to see you, my brother. Appreciate you stopping by rocking with us here tonight. As Mayfield is back here on third down, and wow, he got that ball out just in time to Palmer, and he'll get the first and then some. What a play to Palmer to get the first down. You talk about just being patient. Just in time before getting hit, the ball comes out. And he laid a dot down on that one. First and 10 here now at the 15, officially in the red zone. As White will get the tote here, and Get knocked down, only a two-yard gain on the play. It'll bring it down to a second down. So second down coming up. This is the offense in the regular season for the Bucks. 39 touchdowns in the red zone to nine field goals. Again, this is regular season action here. So now to a third down and eight coming up. So we haven't seen D-Nice this year, this is the first time he, him being on Snipes TV game in this year. Third down and eight coming up here at the 13. They feel back for the pass and good protection and Otten will get the catch, but it is not enough for the first. The fourth down coming up and it looks like the field goal unit is gonna come out. Big shout out to Kakashi in the building, good to see you. Don't forget, guys, if you are a part of the MEL League, make sure you claim your, use your channel points and claim your position in the stream. Once again, make sure you claim your position in the stream, claim your channel points for the MEL Game of the Week broadcast. And look at the Vikings getting things started here. Gets a solid run. He broke the tackle. And there goes Wamu on his way. And he's knocked down at the 31-yard line. What a run back. As he is all the way on the other side of the field already. And the rookie, J.J. McCarthy, about to get things started. And the RPO is going to be caught for a nine-yard gain. And I'm bringing now to a second down. J.J. McCarthy in the regular season, 4,326 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 20 picks on the year. As J.J. McCarthy has had a solid and stellar 
rookie season. McCarthy's gonna almost get sacked there, but another tough catch. We'll get him a first down, and Robert Tunyon is out for the game. A Bruce Sternum for the Vikings. That's tough. So a first down and 10 here now at the 12. And hands it off here to Jones. Aaron Jones straight up the middle will gain a tough eight. And that'll bring it now to a second down. So second down coming up. Carthy in the gun again. We'll get it to Jones. And Jones is using that north-south running style and makes it a third down at inches. So third down and inches coming up. We got this game being played right now. Got a game that's going to be coming up at 930 on night screen TV. We'll be moving you guys straight over there as Jones is going to run this in and punch in the Vikings first touchdown. So the Vikings, they punch it in first. Good run here for Jones. Jones had a great few runs in this game already, and just like that, it's a seven to three ball game. Don't forget our night screen TV. Another divisional round game popping off between the Jets and the Ravens. And again, that is coming up at 9.30 p.m. on Night Screen TV. As Mayfield almost gets hit here, and he finally does get hit, actually. And that'll bring it now to a second down at 20. 10-yard loss on the play. Kakashi said the chat is going to be tough to watch two games. We will be moving you guys directly over there right after this game is complete. We don't have a problem at all with you guys moving back and forth to see what's going on within the game. And obviously, if this is a if it's a blowout here, I understand. But I don't know if there's going to be a blowout because both of these guys right now they're showing that they got work. It's a third down and 13 now coming up. Those helmets for the Vikings are so dope. So third down. Bunch set here for Mayfield. And back for the passer again. A lot of time. And he will launch this up. Beautiful decision once again here. Chris Godwin with a big catch, and he'll get another first down. So first and 10 coming up. And again, it just comes, it just comes down to the decisions. Not a lot there until there is. Great job there by DJS with another solid decision. And by the looks of it right now, it looks like DJS is going to have to put touchdowns up after that first drive from the Vikings. And D-Nice is looking uh, pretty good so far here. But he gets a seven-yard gain on the play and brings it down to a second down and three. Once again, shout out everybody in the chat here rocking with us tonight. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We're supposed to have a bunch of games being played tonight. And that's going to be a first and then some gets out of bounds with 38 seconds left. We're supposed to also have the Giants and Cardinals game played tonight, but some, some things happened on their end, so they'll be playing here on Snipes TV Gaming tomorrow night at 10 p.m. So definitely stay tuned for that. We'll have a packed day tomorrow as well. You know, on Snipes TV Gaming, but this will be the final game here on Snipes TV Gaming, but again, we're going to move you guys over to the AFC Divisional Round between the Jets and the Ravens. And that promises to be a good one, too. Doc is the number one seed there in the AFC and looking to do some work. We'll see what happens as we get ready to end this first quarter. First quarter about to be complete. See if he gets the ball off in time. And he will. He's going to hand it off here to White. And White's going to punch it in the end zone. And the Buccaneers 
will take the lead with a big time touchdown. Big shout out my guy Sinister in the building. Good to see you. So the kick is up, and it is a three point lead as we end the first quarter on a Bucks touchdown as DJS is able to punch it for the first time here today. So a field goal and a tutty for the Bucks. And that does it here for the first quarter. Again, this is your bracket. This is your current bracket here right now. Well, this is the not the current bracket, but because obviously we we're supposed to put some other teams up in here, but go back to that bracket in just a moment as the Vikings gonna take off, get another solid run here by Wangu, and he'll get knocked down at the 41 yard line. First and ten coming up. As you can see, the Jets are taking on the Ravens. So that is definitely going to be. A interesting situation. Second down coming up. So second down and six here now with 817 remaining in the first half. Timeout going to be called here. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys on the regular here again. We're going to move you guys over to Night Screen TV. Uh, once this game is complete, we will have the Jets and Ravens going on over there. That starts actually is about to start actually. Second down is six. As McCarthy is going to get picked off. Levante David is going to take off, and McCarthy is the only one that can catch up, and he does, and knocks him out at the three-yard line. So the defense of the Bucks, they show and prove on this drive. And they are now at the three-yard line. And Mayfield going to try to take over. He gets the running game going again and breaks the first tackle. Can't get through the second. And he's going to bring it down to a second and goal here at the five-yard line. So second and goal. Field back. A lot of time here. And he's going to step. Oh, he could have stepped up and took off, but he cuts to the inside and he does it anyway. Big time touchdown. Baker Mayfield dancing the night away before punching it in the end zone. Wow. That is wild. So first and 10. As McCarthy will hit him with the play action. And the defense, oh wow, that's a fumble. And they pick it up and everything now is going the Bucks way. Unreal. Everything is going the Bucks way here. Mayfield, quick pass here to White, cuts it inside, gets a solid block, spins to the outside, and once again, punches in another Bucks touchdown. Absolutely no games being played in this one for the Bucks here in the first half. Wow. 
First and 10 at the 30 yard line. It is a 24 to seven. Game right now. FYI, the Jets and the Ravens game has officially started. McCarthy back and launches this up one on one. Beautiful play there to TJ Hawkinson, and he'll punch in a much needed touchdown. So the Vikings, they had to get on the board after giving up a ton of points. And they were able to do just that. Wow. Extremely impressive today. First and 10 now here at the 30 yard line. That was much needed. Big shout out to the Miami kid in the building. Good to see you. That is the Cardinals owner. Cardinals with the number one seed in the NFC. And we'll see him tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Winner of this game here is going to take on either Miami kid and the Cardinals. Or the Giants. Going to be interesting. They field again here at the 41-yard line. Hits him with the play action. Flats open and will throw it right there to White. And White will get about six. We'll bring it now to a second down at four coming up. Jets are officially in the red zone. And looking to get the first score of the game over in the AFC side. Second down at four here at the 34-yard line. Big hit there. We'll bring it down to a third down and two. Big shout out to my guy Tweet in the building. Good to see you, my brother. Salute to you as well, my brother. Thank you so much for coming through and showing support here once again. Third down and two coming up here. And Irvin will get the run here, and he is going to take off and get a big first down run down to the 13. That puts him now in the red zone. So first and 10 here at the 13. Mayfield will hand it off to White, and White is going to run it in the end zone again for another big touchdown. They are looking extremely unstoppable here in this first half, and there's still a lot left in the first half. 348 left in the first half. And they have 31 points on the board already. The Bucks have come to play today. And Wangwu, I mean, let me tell you something. I, I mean, it was it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen with Kini Wangwu. It was bound to happen. TTC to the crib for the touchdown. It was bound to happen with Kini Wangwu. Kick is up, kick is good. It's a 10-point game again. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Too many great runbacks here. And, and you got to kind of look at this now. You got to kind of look at this now and say, all right, this, the special teams defense is going to have to step up a little bit. Because KW has been just running topsy-turvy over there. That's a good pass there to Godwin. He'll get the first with 330 left. Here at the 44-yard line. First and 10 coming up.
Gets it here to White, and White breaking out to a second down and eight coming up. Jets have scored. It is a 7-0 game for the Jets. Mayfield back. Goes out. And he's going to take off. He's got some greenery. He slides just in time to get the first down. So first and 10 coming up. Once again, shout out to Night Screen TV. As they will have that Jets and Ravens game there early in the first quarter with the Jets up 7-0. We're here at the two-minute warning with this one. And 30, <laughs> 52 total points in the first half. Mayfield, quick pass up. Going to be caught by McMillan, and he'll get knocked out at the 17-yard line. Clock will stop with a buck 56 remaining. A 26-yard shot. And the clock continues to go, actually. As Mayfield back again, it's going to step up and finally gets knocked down for a loss of one on the play. Second down coming up. Second and 11. Mayfield back to work here again. And look at him getting straight through. And brings it to a third down and long now. So third and 17. Mayfield back. Oh, my goodness. God went wide open on a third and 17 play for another touchdown. Thirty-eight to twenty-one. Hit him in the corner. The safety stayed to the inside, and DJS saw it. And that was all she wrote. What a play. 38 points here for the Bucks in the first half. Jones with the carry, and he'll get knocked down for a six-yard gain on the play. Second down and four coming up. McCarthy again back for the pass, and he gets the ball out just in time. They might call it intentional, though, and it is. So bring it down to a third. And 20 coming up. Third down and 20 here at the 20. McCarthy back for the pass again. And launches that, and that is going to be caught. And he'll get the first one under a minute remaining here in the first half. So the Vikings trying to get their ducks in a row here. As McCarthy again is back for the pass. Quick pass here to TJ Hawkinson. And he'll get him another first here with 36 seconds remaining. He's got one timeout remaining, TJ Hawkinson. Five touchdowns on the year. Clock continuing to tick here for McCarthy. Back for the pass. Levante got right through. But Aaron Jones will get the quick catch and gets hit out of bounds with 19 seconds left. And a new set of downs once again. So 18-yard shot there. Gives it a first to 10 at the 24-yard line. Trip set here on the right side, four-man rush. 
And launches that beautiful play there to Jefferson. And Jefferson will get out there at the four yard line now. So a good drive for the Vikings. He's got to answer pretty much every time DJS does something. He's got to come back and answer. It's time an empty set for McCarthy. Good job out of defense, and wow, he'll punch it in. A ballsy call, but it works out for a big Vikings touchdown. Kick is up. Kick is good. And we got a 10-point game again. We have 66 total points in the first half. Bonkers, to say the least. So first and 10 here at the 30 yard line. Mayfield again back for the pass. Blitz was coming too, but Godwin continues to be on the attack here today in the first half. Godwin has been absolutely unstoppable in this first half. Another first down here at the 48, but there's four seconds left. And doesn't look like he has enough to try to kick a field goal here. So he's going to go ahead and see if he can make something shake here at the end of the first half. Launches this up here, and that is going to do it for the first half. First half in the books. And a heck of a ball game here so far here in this MEL divisional round action of the playoffs. And like I said, a very good game indeed right now. Just going to shout out everybody in the chat here with us for this MEL playoffs. Bucks and Vikings. And the Vikings will get the football back and now really be able to possibly cut this lead to three at the very least. So third quarter has started. And there's nothing been nothing but offense pretty much in the first half. Let's see if somebody's defense is going to buckle down a little bit and get somewhat of a stop. And that's definitely not a good start for the Bucks defense. So first and 10 now here at the 46 yard line. Here to Jones and Jones goes down quickly for a loss of one. Bring it now to a second down. Aaron Jones had 1,426 yards on the year with 21 rushing touchdowns. This time, Jones is going to be far left of your screen. And he's wide open. There it is. First down and then some. Down to the 41-yard line, and here come the Vikings. Trying to gather and be a little bit closer. He's getting close to field goal range at the very least. He's got to give that a shot if he can't punch it in at all. As Addison will get the catch and gets a five-yard gain. So that brings it out to a second down. Second and five. McCarthy back again. Launched that defense, could not get there, and TJ Hawkinson will get him a new set of downs once again. So TJ Hawkinson making his presence known. Gets him a new set of downs. Back for the pass again. It's beautiful dot there, and that will be much needed for the Vikings. They're punching in another touchdown, and after the extra point, it's a three-point game. 
So despite everything that DJS has been able to do within this game in the first half, the fight continued with D Nice and continued to just fight and fight and claw. And now he's down three points. It's a big deal here now. It's only a three point game with so much time remaining. There's just so much opportunity for both teams to really take advantage. But all the momentum right now is going in Minnesota's way. D Nice back on defense. As Mayfield will hand it off here to White, and White will get probably about three, and that is official. So second down is seven here at the 33-yard line. Once again, everybody that is tuning in here right now, greatly appreciate y'all being here once again. The Jets and Ravens game right now is currently in the second quarter. And it's a 7-3 game with the Jets driving right now at the 26-yard line. Jets are still on top by four. And they just ran and got another first down. So third down to seven, and we will move you guys over to that game on Night Screen TV. So definitely make sure you stay tuned. And Mayfield will get the completion, but it's a fourth and eight. who's been incredible running the football back here today. He's already got a kick return touchdown. That's him another first here. First and 10 out to 26. Here comes McCarthy back to work. It's a good defensive stop. And we'll see what the Bucks could do on the defensive end for themselves and try to maintain this three-point lead. Jets just got a turnover. So the Ravens will get the football back, still only down by four. The 509 left here there in the first half. McCarthy, quick pass, caught by Jones. Jones will get the first and then some still going and almost breaks through and gets down to the 47 yard line for a brand new set of downs here for the Vikings. First and 10. Out to 47. So one on the play there. We'll bring it down to a second down. 4-2-4. Four, four. Indeed, we do. Another great game here for the MEL League. McCarthy back. And that is going to be caught there by Delson Aguilar. But he will hold on to it, and it'll be a third down. So a seven-yard gain on that play. Third down coming up. McCarthy back here on third and launches that up. Aguilar will get the catch and he'll get the first down on the play. You gotta love it. He's able to keep both feet in to get the first. And Aaron Jones is gonna run this and get the first down straight up the middle. And that puts him in the danger zone. First and goal at the nine yard line. Vikings could come right back and take the lead if they can get it sunny here. Gets it off straight up the middle again to Jones, and we'll get a couple. Second down coming up. Heck of a ball game so far. Gotta love it. Second down and goal at the six-yard line. Vikings team, third best offense in the league, point-wise, averaging 32 points a game, and they continue to add to that average as they punch in another big touchdown. So they come right back and they take the lead. 42 to 38. 
So it's a four point lead. So with under a minute remaining, the Bucks, again, despite what they have done in that first half, the Vikings with the grit, D nice with the grit. Gets right back into the game and now is only up by four, but he's still up nonetheless. And he got it right over the defender to get the first. So first and 10 coming up now at the 44 yard line. Mayfield again in the gun. Back for the pass, couple drags. Dra oh, that drag got stopped, actually. He doesn't have a lot of space, and he still makes the throw and ends up getting a few on the play, but an illegal contact. So that'll give him a new set of downs here at the 49-yard line. So that does it here for the third quarter. Showtime and go time here in the fourth. Put your fours in the chat, y'all. It's that time. It is the fourth quarter here. This Bucks Vikings game. Winner will take on either the Giants or the Cardinals in the NFC Championship game. Again, the Giants and Cardinals game that will take place tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on Snipes TV Game. And again, we got a pack night tonight, uh, tomorrow night as well. Tonight, this is the last game of the evening and again we're going to move you guys over to the Jets and Ravens game which is being played right now on Night Screen TV as we speak as it is a 7 to 6 ball game right now the Jets still on top in that one Jets defense has definitely come to play as they're getting ready to finish that first half of action and it hasn't been a lot of action offensively there's only been one offensive touchdown as White will get the carry here and gets knocked down at the 38-yard line. There's been a ton of action offensively in this game. A ton of action. And all these games are, are of the extreme importance. And we're definitely going to move you guys over right after this game is complete. Second and 80 at the 38. Mayfield. Launches the corner out there. This time the defense is there to play on it. And that's going to be a third down and eight coming up. Last time a Godwin corner route like that ended up a touchdown in the left side of the end zone. Not this time around. Good job by the defense stepping up to the plate and getting a big stop. So the Bucks in there. 17th ranked offense now out here on third down and eight is Mayfield back for the pass plenty of time in route is not there he got bumped the route got bumped and it's a fourth down and he's gonna try the long field goal we know these are not gimmies but he said hold my beer and he'll miss it barely misses it and it's still 42 to 38 Now, here's the key. You can't get yourself down too much. Missing the field goal. Because at the end of the day, what will happen is you'll, you'll mess up. You'll mess up your whole routine here. And you don't want to do that. You're only down four points. You got to kind of look at it like. You could be down way more with the amount of points that have been on the board here in this game. And you're keeping up with them while only being down four points. So you really got to just make a decision and make proper decisions. But on the other side, when you talk about Minnesota, I mean, the there was a struggle. But every time DJS scored, then D-Nice came right back and did the same thing. So got to give him plenty of props and look at that. What a laser there to Justin Jefferson to get another first down. Sinister said he's got to lay off that mesh concept. Yeah, the mesh concept messed him up on that last particular drive. But 
I mean, that's the bottom line. If you can actually, if you can actually lay a body on the mess, you'll have a ton of success. As McCarthy is back here on second down, quick pass here to Jones, and Jones will get down to the 29 yard line. Puts him in field goal range, so it's a third down and two now. So if he can't make this here, he can at least try to field goal and go up seven points. He might want to go ahead and do that, but we'll see what he decides to do here. Starts off with this third and two. And that is going to be caught for the first down. He sealed him off. Like he was out there getting a rebound. And that's going to be a new set of downs once again here. That's just a good job. Moves the sticks here with four minutes left in the fourth. And Jones is going to take off. And he'll get another first down at the 13-yard line. So a first and 10 now in the red zone. And the Vikings, they are really looking now to take over in this ball game. And knock out DJS in the divisional round. Hands it off to Chandler. He'll break to the outside. And there goes Chandler getting the first. Could not get any further yet. But it's a first and goal now at the two yard line. And a touchdown here is detrimental. For the for the Vikings. Straight up the middle here for Jones and Jones will punch it in for a much needed touchdown. So forty nine to thirty eight. Sinister said that might do it. Well, that will do it, he says. Not going to count him out just yet, but man, it's going to be a tough one here. A lot of scoring in this game. Big pass caught by Otten. Otten will take off and almost breaks that tackle. We'll get knocked down at the 49 for a brand new set of downs. First and 10 coming up here at the 49 yard line. Trip set here for Mayfield. And back for the passer again. Oh man, he had the drag open. And we'll go down quick. That's Minnesota's fourth sack in the game so far. So they have created a ton of pressure here for Baker Mayfield. It's making them very uncomfortable. And that obviously is the key to somebody that could dot themselves straight down the field. They've, they've gotten the pressure that they needed throughout this entire ball game and it's definitely worked out for the Vikings. Again, a guy that is very patient with the football again only had three interceptions on the year so he's very patient with the football and very patient with the route concepts and everything else but again a great job here so far for this vikings defense they have put the pedal to the metal in the second half and you can't ask for anything better than that they're down to 16 here at the 43. Mayfield again back, launches it up, one-on-one -on -one there to McMillan, and he can't get it. Not enough speed on that side, and that brings it to a fourth down, and he's got to go for it, as we have a buck 49 remaining in the game. So it looks like the season might be over, as that is an incomplete pass, it looks like the season is going to be over for DJS. And his first season here in the 
MEL Madden League. Started off on a slow route. Worked his way up. Was able to get his record above 500 to 9 and 8 and squeeze his way into the postseason. But today it's not enough. And it really looked like in the first half, it genuinely looked like DJS was going to run away with this. But again, the the patience and the grit for D nice showed showed out the entire the rest of this game especially in the second half just a phenomenal finish here for D nice as he is going to show respect and finish this game on the knee what a what a finish what a finish here today Played great. Not going to necessarily say from start to finish. But that second half, absolutely fantastic in the second half. Got to give him all the props in the world. 49 to 38, the final count in this ball game. And again, the, just the fact that the fact that he was able to do everything that he did in this game and continue to do it was just fun. It was phenomenal. But every time DJS scored, here here comes <laughs> here here comes D, here comes D nice. Here comes D nice. It happened every single time. Third, 49 to 38, the final count in this one. Everybody, again, thank y'all so much for tuning into this one. So what we are going to do, we are in the third quarter with 6.03 left. It is a 7-6 ball game, and we're going to move you guys over right now to Night Screen TV. We are going to raid over there right now. Once again, appreciate all of you guys tuning in here tonight. Let's get this raid started for you guys so you can get ready to get to that game right now. Give us a moment. We're going to get this raid going. And uh, guys, man, with that being said, we're out of here, guys. Take care, be blessed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Slide, folks. Tech to save their lives. And over comes the other guys from the other game. We just discussed the ending of that game as the Ravens take the lead. 9-7 to seven over Vontae. It's been an ugly game so far for Doc, but he does put nine points unanswered up. Uh, one